Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer question in here. This is from Luke. He's writing in an email. He says, Hi Matt, I love your channel over on YouTube. Currently got a Panasonic FZ1000 bridge camera, but I'm looking at getting into the DSLR world. I mainly shoot outdoors landscape up in the peaks here in England and I current and uh, city areas and a bit of macro shooting and just wondered what DSLR you would recommend I go with and lens combinations. Budget around six to uh, 700 L for the body and then around 100 to 300 L for lenses. So it looks like we got about a thousand L, so about a thousand pounds I think that is for lenses. Um, would appreciate any help. Kind regards, Luke. So uh, thanks for your question, Luke. Um, you've got that Panasonic FZ1000 bridge camera, which is a great camera, uh, and I really like that camera. You want to step into a DSLR. You're ma mainly shooting landscapes and city areas. Um, with that budget, I'm not... Th I think that's around... Uh, let me just check what the pound is going for. So if I'm reading this correctly... The pound is at 0.75 uh, against the U.S. dollar. So in other words, the dollar um, is at one, and then you would get uh, 0.75 of a three quarters of a British pound against the U.S. dollar. So that would mean you don't even have a thousand dollars U.S. comparably, uh, which is interesting. We're looking. I guess you'd have about 750 dollars U.S. Probably what I would do in that situation is I would go for a used or refurb camera so I could get a better camera and more value for my money rather than buying a new one. In that situation, you haven't said that you're into photography uh, solely. It does sound like it. You didn't mention video, I guess, is where I'm going with that. So my um, thought would be then it, you need to kind of, if, if you are interested in video, then it does sway things. Because I think if you're at all interested in video, you're going to want to shoot um, in the Canon system at that price range. I would probably go with the 77D or even um, if you could pick up a used 80D or even a 70D, T7i, one of those four uh, would be good options for you, uh, especially if you want to shoot uh, photography and video. All of those are fine if you're just doing photography as well, but if you're into video, they become even more important. The reason I'm saying that is because if you're not at all into video, well, then you could certainly look at a Nikon D7100 used or refurbed. You should be able to get that at a very good price on the Nikon side. And that camera would be um, quite a good uh, camera. The really only difference between it and, and the newer 7200 is a little bit deeper shot buffer uh, in the sense of uh, it may be more advantageous if you were shooting sports or fast flying or fly, fast moving wildlife. Uh, which it doesn't say that you are. So I would look at the 7100 would be my choice. Or so you could say the 5500 if you want smaller, lighter for excursions. One of those two, the D5500 or the D7100. And then for lenses, because you are on such a budget, um, I would look at maybe getting the 18-105 to or the 18-140 to um, because they're a good all-round lens and it gives you a lot of versatility and range. As you have more money, you can add a wider, wide angle, like a, an ultra wide. My, my suggestion there on the Canon side is very easy. Is a 10 to 18 STM is a beautiful lens for the price and very inexpensive. I would pick that up. Uh, on the Nikon side, I would probably buy the Sigma 8 to 16 um, because I really like that lens and it gives you that. You'd be amazed how much wider 8 mil is on the wide end than the 10 mil. So I would look at those based on you wanting to shoot landscapes and city areas and things. Uh, it's not going to cover you for macros, but you can't have everything at this price range. So when you do have the money, look at one of the um, lesser expensive macros. Uh, my favorites are the longer ones, the 105s, but you're probably going to want to look at something more like um, the Canon. I think Canon has a 35mm macro out. I'll put a link below. Um, that's a... That's a um, EFS lens for, you know, APS-C sensor cameras like the ones I, I suggested there. Nikon has um, a couple of decent offerings. Um, they do have the 85 3.5, and then they have the smaller, I believe it's the 45 mil, which is a decent lens, um, more inexpensive. I like the longer ones. My, my total preference would be a Nikon 105 2.8, even an older one, even a manual focus one, because when you're shooting macro, autofocus isn't that big of a deal. Um, that's what I would recommend for now. And then as that gets you into the system, 
And then as you get more into it, then you can put more money into various other lenses, like I said, with the ultra wides. Uh, and certainly in both systems, the next thing I would step into almost right away, even though you don't say that you're shooting much in the way of portraits, is one of the fast 50s. So on the Canon side, a 50 F1.8 STM. On the Nikon side, a 50 F1.8 G. Um, or, or an older one if you're getting the 7100, which can drive a D lens or one of the non-motor drive lenses. So that's what I would do. What do you guys think? And throw it back to you. Let's help out Luke. Um, do you like the suggestions I've given here? Uh, is there an alternative you would go with? Uh, if so, what is it and why? Um, so if you de agree or disagree, let us know. If you disagree, what would you recommend and why? Uh, if you agree, let us know why. And uh, let's just help Luke flush it out a little here before he makes his purchase. Thanks again for your question, Luke. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.